Hey, true believers, it's me, Quad T Tony, and Lee. Hi. <laughs> My name's Lee. His name's I'm, Lee. I'm your so, little friend. <laughs> <laughs> this week uh, in Germany is Gamescom going on, and they've shown I off, know. Yeah, a buttload of new games. Yeah. yeah. One game that Lee and I can always bond over. Star Citizen. No, oh, Lee. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, sure. <laughs> no, I'm talking about Borderlands games. Oh, that other game is so good. I love Borderlands. I love Borderlands 1. I love Borderlands 2. I love Borderlands 3. I love Tiny Tina's Wonderland. I yeah. love, and I, my favorite though, because I'm not good at pushing buttons, is the Telltale Borderlands game. Yes, Tales from the Borderlands. It's a good uh, game. Quite a good game, a good story. They they did good voice acting. Just mm -hmm. everything. If you're like adventure games and you like Borderlands games, or if you just like one of those two, it's mm -hmm. a great game for you to play. I like I like a game where I can just push a button and it decides whether or not I'm gonna die. <laughs> nice and simple. Or get beaten up by a mech, or meet a bunch of gun runners in an amusement park. That's I just right. love Telltale games, actually. Yeah, they just in general make a quality adventure game, whether it's Batman, mm -hmm. Borderlands, uh, friggin' Fables. Uh, um, Wolf. What was the Wolf one from? Oh, it was Fables. That Fables, was the Fables yeah. one. It was the comic book series it was from. And then uh, Walking Dead. They've made a, a buttload of Walking Dead right. adventure games. But the big news, what we're here to talk about, is they announced a second, a new Tales from the Borderlands game coming sometime in the future which date i have forgotten so <laughs> uh they they announced it and uh, dropped a new trailer on us so let's take a peek at that and uh i'm bask, so excited tony bask in the glory i'm so excited most stories in the borderlands start bloody they end bloody too sometimes all it takes to change the galaxy <laughs> is a trio uh, of losers trying to get through a bad day. Dibs on the wheelchair lady. We are in the middle <laughs> of a TDR invasion. Wait, TDR? What? Is what is TDR? TDR jurisdiction. TDR is the... There was a vault I'll key being kept on the station. Okay. If we can find whatever's in that vault before TDR does, we can change our lives. <laughs> Oh, it looks good. We're bad at this. Like, really bad. Fran. 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 Talking guns. Guns with legs. I'm gonna blast you so freaking bad. <laughs> yeah. Shut up, Richard. <laughs> I always wanted to change the universe for the better. And now we actually can. But more importantly, we'll be drowning in... <laughs> Why are you people like this? <laughs> this looks great. If you happen to see any corpses along the way, uh, don't worry about them. They're just, uh, yeah, don't worry about them. <laughs> <laughs> October 21st, Tony. Oh, man, that's not even that far. Uh, Tony, October 21st. Okay. Right. Uh, I want to play that so bad. I want to play that right now. Yeah, so that's, uh, let's see, we're recording this on the 24th of uh, August, so that's only two months away. <sighs> Less than two months. That's great. So, it's a, okay. It's a thanks. It's a, a pre Thanksgiving, pre October, pre Halloween, post. Yeah, it's just in, actually right after my birthday. So, it's an after Lee's birthday miracle. Yeah, so I'm gonna pay. I'll pay. I'll pay four hundred dollars. Wow! That game. I bet they'll sell it to you for a lot less. Oh, okay. Is that how that works? I yeah, just. I always thought that you just had to give game companies all your money until, until the well, game came out. Those are the free to play games, and the early release games like Star Citizen. Oh, that's what you're thinking about. Oh, well, I keep yeah. getting thank you cards from the CEO, so I, I figured wonder that why. Was <laughs> so. It looks like this story is going to revolve around Tidior, which is uh, one of the arms manufacturers in the Borderlands games. 
Oh, so it's like if Smith and Wesson invaded the West Coast. Exactly. You have in the in the Borderlands games, and this is me just trying to remember off the top of my head, so I might forget some. But you have Jacobs, you have mm-hmm. uh, Atlas, you have Tedior, and you have uh, what's the? There's another one that's uh, kind of uh, really like Mad Max style looking weapons. Yeah, um, those were my favorite. I can't. I want to say it starts with a SC or something. Anyway, the point is. Um, They've in the past stories they've oh uh, of course can't forget about Hyperion no um, so in the past stories they've talked about the Hyperion organization uh, Atlas and uh, Jacobs and we've met all the CEOs to those organizations and seen kind of what they're about TDR has always been kind of uh, like not included much in the lore except for the other weapons manufacturers CEOs always dump all over TDR stuff talking about how <laughs> crappy it is. So the last Tales from the Borderland game, well the only Tales from the Borderlands game, right. uh, it was it was very uh the corporations are awful. Um, oh, that's all the Borderlands games there. Yeah, they're, but this one you like you play a dude and you get to watch somebody get spaced because he he missed his <laughs> evaluation or something. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember exactly what it was, but I was laughing hysterically. So Yeah, by um, by the end of, well, I don't want to give anything away for anyone that hasn't played Tales of the Border from the Borderlands, but yeah. uh it's it's good. I mean, you get to see the rise and fall of uh a couple of Atlas <laughs> related <laughs> Atlas Corporation ra- related things. So Anyway, it looks like they're going to do some TDR stuff, which could be fun. The thing about I've always liked the TDR guns, not because they're ever super powerful. They're usually okay, but mm-hmm. they're weird. Like yeah. that one you saw with legs. Yeah. Or, or And TDR guns, the way they reload is you don't put a clip back in the gun. You throw the gun away, and either <laughs> another one digitizes in your hand and that one explodes, or that one grows legs and runs around and tries to shoot things for you, and another one appears in your hand. Nice. Or, you know, things like that. Very unique and interesting uh, uh, weapons from <laughs> TDR. So it'll be, I think it's going to be cool to see what, what that corporation And probably is really, on. really funny. Oh, yeah. That's the Borderlands uh, always tickles the funny bone. This is the game more than any other video game that I want a tabletop game for. And they, oh, man. there's uh, one company, I think it might have been Simon, might have done like a, a board game with some miniatures. I, I don't want that. I want, I want a game where I can take a whole bunch of just psychos and uh, <laughs> I want to be able to kit bash robots. I want to be able to put cyborg arms on people. Yes. I, I want cars. I want mutants. I want, you know, because I got. I got my um, uh, Fallout game. They mm-hmm. they did a tabletop game of that. The miniatures are great. This game though, because there's some people out there who actually do Fallout style painting on miniatures, where they they outline them with the black, and it looks oh, so cool. cool. Yeah. So, and that's the brilliance of these Borderlands games too. Is like their their poly count's really low, isn't it? So in one and two, it was quite low. Um, yeah. Three, they beefed it up quite a bit. Well, and, they had to. Uh, yeah. And and they also moved from Unreal Engine three to Unreal Engine four, um, and same with Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. But uh, we need to finish that, Tony. I know, right? Uh. And the uh, so yeah, the that that game leans heavily into its art style and not mm-hmm. as much onto high super high polygon counts or super high fidelity textures, things like that. And I think it's all the better for it. I the, I think the art style for Borderlands is just top notch. I love it's one it. of a kind. It's phenomenal. Mm-hmm. It's absolutely mm-hmm. phenomenal. Well, I'm excited. So that's uh, that's two games now that I'm buying in the fall. Lee, <sighs> how are you going to buy two games and still make time for your one true love of Star Citizen? Tony, I'm I'm on a 12 step program. I'm I'm learning. <laughs> I'm step? learning to. I'm learning to acknowledge that there's a higher power than me, and okay. that. Uh, and that I don't have to play Star Citizen every week. That I can just play it when I miss it. Yeah. And and if I hear a voice calling to me, it's not Star Citizen. It's it's just my inner dialogue. <laughs> Sometimes there's no difference between those two. <laughs> right. Sometimes it really is Star Citizen acting as my inner dialogue. But no, this game looks amazing, and I yeah, love it I'm because yeah, it's decision based. It's choose your own adventure on your computer screen, mm-hmm. and it it's fully acted. So That's awesome. Right. All right. So, do you think we're going to have more Gamescom trailers? Oh, I wouldn't put it past us. 
Okay, cool. Well, that's uh, eventually we're going to turn this into a bonafide geek show video game channel. So if you really like it, make sure to like it so that we keep doing it. I see what you did there. Yeah. All right. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Alrighty.